Unit 1, Scientific Investigation. Chapter 1, Thinking Like a Scientist. The branches of science and how they fit together. Life science, or biology, is the study of all living things, like plants, animals, and even single-celled organisms. Earth science deals with Earth and space, things like planets, stars, and rocks. Earth science studies non-living things and their history. Physical science is a, all about matter and energy, the most basic building blocks of the universe. It includes physics, energy interacting with matter, and chemistry, matter, and how it transforms. Science is like thinking about the universe as a Lego world. Physics studies a single Lego and all of its properties, like how it moves around its energy. Chemistry studies how Legos fit together to create larger things. Life science studies all of the possible living things made out of Legos. And Earth science studies all of the non-living things in the Lego world. Scientific inquiry. Science is a way to find answers to questions about the world around us. Scientists are very much like detectives using evidence to solve complex puzzles. Scientists find evidence by conducting experiments and making observations. The process used by scientists to research a question is called scientific inquiry. Trying to find the answers to a question is also called the scientific method. A scientific inquiry begins with a question about the world around us and how it works. After a question has been identified, the next step is to collect all of the possible information that relates to that investigation by doing background research, making observations, and conducting experiments. Background research looks at the findings of past scientists to predict what will happen in an experiment. This prediction is called a hypothesis. Scientists test their hypotheses by making observations and comparing them to their predictions. Observations require using your senses the way something looks, smells, feels, or sounds to describe an event. Some observations are quantitative and made in the form of measurements. Some are qualitative and based on the qualities of something. The findings of the scientific inquiry are referred to as conclusions. Scientific inquiry, the strategy used for scientific investigations. Hypothesis, a prediction or proposed explanation that can be tested. Observation, using all of your senses and scientific instruments to describe a thing or event. Conclusion, the findings of your scientific investigation. Quantitative, information or data based on countable measurements of something. Qualitative, information based on the qualities of something. A measurement has both a number and a unit, 3 feet, 45 minutes, 25 degrees Celsius, 1 liter, and 115 pounds. A model is a representation of something that's too small, too big, or too expensive to observe in real life. Since models simplify things to make observing and thinking about them easier, they are very useful tools for scientists. These are a few types of models. Physical models, like a globe or diorama. Computer models, like a simulation of changing weather patterns or 3D simulations of people or places. Mathematical models, like the equation of a line, or a business using past costs to predict future costs. An experiment isn't a failure if it doesn't work out as predicted. Knowing what is false is an important part of figuring out what is true. Oops, look out below! Scientific inquiry. Number one, ask a question. Number two, do background research. Number three, make a hypothesis. Number four, test your hypothesis with experiments and observations. 5. Analyze results. 6. Make a conclusion about your hypothesis. And 7. Share your results. If it's false, make a new hypothesis and begin the process again. Scientific Ideas, Theories, and Laws After making many observations, scientists develop ideas to explain how and why things happen. Scientific ideas start as predictions, and evidence may or may not support them. After a hypothesis has been confirmed through many tests and experiments, scientists can develop a theory. A theory is a proposed explanation that has been extensively tested and is based on many observations. A scientific law, like a theory, is based on many observations. A law is a rule that describes how something in nature behaves, but not necessarily why it behaves that way. For example, Sir Isaac Newton observed that objects naturally fall to the ground. To describe this pattern, he came up with the law of universal gravitation. 
This law predicts the motion of objects under the force of gravity, but doesn't explain why objects move that way. It's rule. It's true. Describe what happens under certain conditions is a law, and a theory is an explanation of why something happens based on years of testing and observation. Check your knowledge. What are the three main branches of science and what does each study? We'll need to go back. Let's check out page two. Here they are. The branches of science and how they fit together. So we're looking at life science or biology, earth science, and physical science. Life science studies living things Earth science deals with Earth and space, things like planets, stars, and rocks, and physical science is all about matter and energy. Question number two. What are the basic steps of scientific inquiry? Hmm, I think I saw this. Oh, there it was. Page seven. Look at that. There they are. Ask a question. Do background research. Make a hypothesis. Test your hypothesis. Analyze results, make a conclusion, share your results. Number three, what is a hypothesis? Mm, I think I saw that here. Here we go, right here, page five. A hypothesis is a prediction or proposed explanation that can be tested. Number four, if your observations do not support your hypothesis, what should you do? Look, right here it is. If it's false, make a new hypothesis and begin the process again. Number five, how is evidence used in scientific investigations? That's right here on page eight. It says evidence may or may not support your predictions, and it's okay either way. Number six, compare and contrast a theory and a law. Here they are, right here. A theory is an explanation of why something happens, and it's been based on testing and observation. A law describes what happens under certain conditions. Number seven, what are models and why are they used in science? That was back on page six. Here we go. A model is a representation of something that's too small, too big, or too expensive to observe in real life. Number eight, give an example of a physical model, a computer model, and a mathematical model. Again, go back to page six. Physical model like a globe, a computer model, a simulation of changing weather patterns, a mathematical model, equation of a line.